So we're going to continue, but now in Curator we're going to be seeing how we will be attacking Windows 10 64-bit systems instead of the Win 7 that we've been attacking so far. So one of the differences between Win 7 and Win 10 is that, uh, and that's where we started with Win 7 because it's a lot easier to attack, is that in Windows 10, Windows Defender is very effective detecting attacks for Metapreter, like the one we are using. But don't get too hung up on it because the real attackers do not use Metapreter, they use other things. So assume that all your defenses are actually subverted and that the guy gets to the core of your system, but because you have Sysmon and WinCollect here, and, and those fantastic rules that Mutas created, you're going to be seeing how those uh, those attacks, when they pass through your defenses, get registered in Curator. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is disable the Windows Defender. So we go here under Settings, scroll down to Update and Security, Windows Defender, and we're going to uncheck this, right? Now, on the Kali system, there are two files that we need to move there. And these files, uh, you find them actually in my in, in the video description of all my videos. There is a link to a public box folder. And in it, you're going to find this uh, subfolder. Thing like a hacker. And the files are the mylob64.exe and the Jose 64 RC and these files assume that the Kali you installed you you did it with the address 172.16.60.124 if for any reason you 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 install with a different address you need to modify this file and also ROM MSS Venom to get the callback address in here set up accordingly to your network topology Let's actually do that in Kali. So we are logging into the system. And we're going to start by putting those two files here on the desktop. I already had the Jose 64 RC here. I don't need to move that one. And I'm going to open a command window. And we need to put those files in the right places. So first, let me achieve super user status. And now we need to, we're going to use the move command to put the uh, Jose 64 RC here. And the best, this is a trick. If you drag and drop into the command window, it will put the path to it. You click in it, hit enter. And then this needs to go under root. We're going to do the same for the other file. We drag that one, and we're going to put that to be, again, I need to hit, click here, and then hit enter, otherwise you get that window. And this goes on their var. This is for the Apache server, www.html. So it's going to be serving the piece of malware to the victims. All we need to do left is invoke the MSS console with the resource file. Say, oh, actually, I need to specify the path, which is root Jose 64.rc. So our Kali system is ready. Now we have uh, in here we open a browser, and let's say that we've been fooled. I'm not going to do the the Word document. You see that it's the same technique in the in this system, but we're going to go directly to that Apache server inadvertently. Let's say that we click into a, a something like an Adobe update or whatever is the, the vector that the guys use for that. So we go 172.16.60.124 and then uh, we do my love 64 exe 
and that's going to offer me to save the file right so i have that file under my downloads directory and to initiate the attack all we need to do is to run it we are not going to run it as an administrator we're going to open it with plain access right we click here run and we get a session open so we go into the session as we have done in the past interactively one we ask for a shell and the attack we're going to do in this the same subfolder under my notes in here this is the attack I'm going to be choosing basically this is going to put into the registry an entry that says every time the machine logs on or reboots invoke that my love.exe so let's grab that we're going to execute that command let me right click here paste clipboard and it's completed successfully we can now ex let's say the attacker typically when they fish somebody to avoid the, the, the user connecting the dot they wait a couple of days let's say next week I'm going to be continue my attack to make sure that the guy doesn't raises this the more suspicious so we're going to exit here uh, so we have no sessions we do session here we shouldn't have any okay and now let's actually go into this windows machine and log off we hit log off and we're gonna log in again and we immediately should see a session being created here and there it is right so the attack has uh, persisted reboots and logons and etc let's actually see what uh, curator saw are out of this so we are in the curator system we certainly see that it detected let's display the actual rule as I like to always do with four events only four events from all the things that we did from Sysmo is very economic in terms of the uh, on your EPSs so process created a thread into a system process detected a new and update and log on script that is the the persistence attack that we did and this is the that the actual attack uh, took place in fact if we wait a little bit like I just did when I exit the actual uh, of uh, details of the offense and when here now we have six events instead of just uh, four so Again, the value of this is if you have Sysmon, even if all the defenses that you have get subverted, your last line of defense, which is that code inside your kernel, detects that the attack took place. And all you need is one of those offenses to fire. You don't need the, all of them to invite you to investigate what happened there.